season two is finally here. It's been a finally, long wait. Finally, I know. We left season one with a lot of questions. When you got that first script for season two, what did you think? What was your reaction? Uh, just utter disbelief. I was blown away. I I thought, okay, well, let's see how we ease back into this. How you know? But uh, they waste no time. I mean, we hit the ground running in a way that I don't think anybody saw coming. Where do we pick up with Dolores? Well, I think uh, the showrunners have said we're not picking up sort of exactly where we left off, but we're going to pick up in the aftermath a bit, um, and we're going to see. Uh, definitely in the first episode where Dolores is at with herself, her many selves. So. Is that challenging as an actress to go in and how only having one script at a time? Yes. <laughs> it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, and I, I spoke to Joan and Lisa before season two started to kind of say, okay, so where is Dolores now? Is there anything I can watch? Are there any references? Like, what tone are you going for? And Joan just goes, I don't think there's ever been a character like this. And I'm like, great, oh cool, no pressure, it's never been done. So it really was uh, interesting finding where she is and who she is now. And what I love about the character is that I think there's endless possibilities. She can be whoever she wants to be. So. Yeah. That Super Bowl spot. <laughs> yeah. We can save this world. We can burn it to the ground. And from the ashes, build a new world. Makes us think that Dolores is just out to destroy this world. Right. Is that her mission this season? You know, I, I, I don't I don't know. I I think uh, much like anything in Westworld, it's always more complicated than you think. I think she definitely wants her freedom and uh, she wants access to the world that's been denied to her. I don't know if her end game is destroying it yet or not. Um, I think that's going to be something that we're going to explore a bit more. Okay. Yeah. We have some first look photos out there. We know Dolores is in modern day clothes. Yeah. So she's out in the world. <laughs> right. I know. I was like, oh, wow, we're releasing that. Okay, cool. <laughs> How does Dolores function in the modern world? Uh, well, I think that's going to be something that we're going to see more of, you know, and I think we've established that we, you know, there's different timelines. There's, you know, I think we're going to, we're going to. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to like talk about it without giving anything away. I don't know, you know, it's, it's, I don't know if I could answer that. <laughs> All right, we'll have to wait and see on that You'll have one. to wait and see, yeah. And we've been teased with some other worlds. Yeah. Will we see Dolores in any of these other worlds? Uh, sure. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that, really. I'll take a sure. Yeah. And then I, I mean, it depends what kind of, I mean, I don't know what kind of right. worlds we're talking about. Big question. Dolores and Maeve are kind of on separate paths a little bit. Will we see them interact this season? Well, I think it would be a tragedy if Dolores and Maeve never interacted. I think that Tanny and I would start a riot. Um, but I think it will be probably in ways that people don't expect. Okay. As usual. Yeah, with um, this show. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have very different objectives. Yes. Are we going to see Dolores and Teddy back together? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, this season for them, it's going to be the first time that they're really interacting off script, you know, and, and finding out what their relationship is now that there are no barriers and no narratives. And if that love is real, you know, or just imagined and, um, but I think uh, Teddy and Dolores' connection is, is, uh, runs very, very deep. And even though certain things are programming, that doesn't necessarily mean they're not real, you know? Just because you program love doesn't mean it doesn't feel like love. Um, so I think it, their journey this season will be, what are we now that we have access to ourselves and can our love sustain, um, a war, basically. Yeah. What was your one big question left over from season one? <laughs> it's my, maybe slightly self-centered, but I just wanted to know who Dolores was now. I wanted to know who Wyatt was. Because you just kind of just got mm -hmm. this information that, oh, by the way, she also has this Jekyll and Hyde alter ego that lives inside of her. 
that comes out every now and then. But so what happens if she has access to all of herself all at once? What does that mean? What does that look like? Who is Wyatt? Uh, that's what I wanted to know. And um, I definitely found out. I was going to say, did you get your answer there? I, I, yes, yes, I did. Uh, wow. It was really intense. <laughs> Wyatt is very intense. But I also thought I was coming back and playing like somebody with the soul of a man, that Wyatt was this man and I was going to have this. But then they reminded me that Wyatt can also be a girl's name. Yes. And I was wrong. <laughs> All, they throw challenge after challenge at you. Yeah. If you had to sum up season two with just one word, what would that word be? Chaos. Okay. Chaos. Complete chaos.